Hello everyone, I'm Festo aka Mr. Still Your Girl and this is a uh, game against Hybrid Theory, a uh, game I had on ladder, pretty cool game so I decided to post it because I haven't posted anything in a while because, you know, I'll talk about it a little later maybe, but uh, he's gonna lead with the Celebi, I have my Landorus lead, I'm just gonna U-turn around because I'm Choice Specs, and not Choice Specs of course, Choice Scarf, hit the Rotom, I see the left tease which is good information, it means he cannot trick my Latias, now I predict his switch into uh, Tyranitar now because he does want to trap me and I'm not defensive so uh, I'm gonna be taking a lot of damage from the pursuit so um, bluffing the u-turn I'm just gonna I do believe okay I'm just gonna switch out knowing that he would go into something to take the pursuit number the pursuit the uh, uh, thingy uh, the u-turn so now I go for the EQ because I know he's gonna stay in and uh, potentially try to either u-turn on me and go for the bullet punch to get some damage he does go for the bullet punch I see the left he's meaning that he is a source dance uh, scissor which in my opinion is the biggest threat in OU like bulky SD scissor is the most broken thing in the card and metagame in my personal opinion but uh he double switches into Rotom now as I go into Verizion so that was quite a good double switch for me now I go for the focus bus predicting the switch into um something else but not Celebi because uh yeah I just thought he would go into Scissor I think but uh I'm just gonna go into my T-Dar now knowing that I can basically sponge any move from that thing but he does go for the U-turn which is I guess good he's basically have that has that um volt turn combination going on which is quite gay but he goes in the Landris again I'm just gonna go into my own Rotom because I am a defensive Rotom and I can take those moves like nothing shrug them off from the top from the horn of my washing machine and what kind of horn is that for is it like a dildo because you know girls like to do dirty stuff on a, on a washing machine game freak I see what you did there okay uh, he lays up the rocks with the Celebi I'm like lol fuck but all right he's gonna go for the u-turn and when I saw the rocks on the T-Tar, I mean on the Celebi, it automatically clicked in my head that he has a choice banded T-Tar because obviously he doesn't have the rocks. So I got a dip. Oh, I actually don't dip now because I have nothing to take a superpower safely. And in case he predicts my switch and goes to the crunch on my Landorus, is going to be balls because it's going to take me out. So I just left my T-Tar in. Um, he laid up the rocks so you know I don't really need the T-Dar no more and since there is no weather war going on because we both are using sand there's no need for that so I just U-turn on the Rotom bring in Rotom pretty low now go into my Verizion because Verizion is basically there to soak any Rotom's move um, I do believe I'm gonna go for the HPIs there and the Celebi stays free because it's a freaking Celebi but uh, right here I was predicting him to U-turn out again like he did last time on my T-Tar so I'm just gonna go for the Calm Mind right here knowing that I can take any move from that thing and I don't know what he wants to U-turn out into but he decides to go for the HP Fire most likely because I, you know I've never seen people use HPIs other than on a uh, Nasty Plot Celebi um, well I do it myself I run HPIs on defensive Celebis to make those Dragonites look free but all uh, right here I'm gonna go for the focus blast predicting is switching to scissor predicting him to but basically predicting the Giga Drain so that he can come in safely with a scissor and kill me off with a bullet punch that was my thought process but that does not quite happen uh, he he will die to rocks though which is great he goes into um, Landorus now goes to the U-turn trying to bring me low then fodders out his uh, Celebi and goes back into Landorus and U-turn is gonna kill me off I, I want to save the Verizion for the Rotom so I just decided to go in my own Rotom he's gonna go for the U-turn that's fine though because um, I'm a freaking washing machine with a dildo in his head not a head it would probably be four space no I don't know how that's called I don't even care anymore but he goes in a hydragon and the biggest mistake I make in the battle I go for the will-o-wisp like a dumbass I mean I saw the lefties and that didn't tell me that he, he is using a substitute hydragon dumbest move on my part but hydragon is a huge threat to my team at the moment and um Honestly though, I just don't really face them often, so I kind of caught caught off guard, and I was like, "Fuck, I have some real problems problems right now." I'm go, I'm gonna, whew, Jesus, I am going to go. It's quite late, so you know, tongue twisting shenanigans are there but um i have to fight around my verizion basically i break this up with the u-turn as he sets up another one which was quite a good move but he's bringing himself low so i'm just gonna go for the hidden power rise not risking the focus blast miss focus blast uh focus blast miss he kills me off with the dragon pulse it's good though because he is exposed like 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 i don't know like a vagina 
to fuck you. Okay, I'm gonna go for the Draco Meteor, hit the T-Dar since he is Choice Bandit. I know that it's gonna do a lot of damage, and it does indeed, and I'm pretty sure that a Life Orb Surf will be able to knock him out from that range. Exactly what happens, and uh, that is great. I take out the T-Tar. Perfect. Now, um... Look at this, he goes into Scizor, I thought he's gonna go for the Bog type move, thinking that I cannot take him out since I have the minus 2, because I'm pretty sure a Surf would have not taken him out, even with a Life Orb after minus 2. But therefore I went for the uh, Hidden Power Fire, but he did go for the Bullet Punch, if I knew he would do that I would probably recover it up, but uh, whatever, you know, Latias did his job, he's gonna U-turn on my Latias, killing it off with his Landris, it's fine, it's 2 versus 3 now, but uh, looking at his team, uh, I can come in with Landris, and granted that I don't miss any uh, Stone Edges, the game should be my. And uh, I go for the Stone Edge and the Hydra Gun, take him out, perfect. Now, it goes into Landris, I want to talk about it a little. Uh, when you put HP Ice on a Pokemon on PO, it gives you 30 IVs in uh, speed, and most of the people just leave it like that, but uh, I changed it to 30 attack and 30 defense, so I have generally one more speed than usual Landris's, but you know, he, this guy's pretty smart, so he might have been running 30 attack and 30 defense as well, meaning that it most likely was a speed type, but uh, if he didn't change anything, so that was not a speed type without Landris is there and I just take took him out and the Rotom didn't survive the uh, Stone Edge either because it was low well, probably like 30% so um, this is gonna be the game I uh, didn't miss any Stone Edges took him out swe swept him in the end with the Landris was a pretty um, cool game to say the least interesting game this guy um, I played him before on the ladder and he kind of like for rode me so I remembered him and I was like shit this guy is is a right so I gotta take revenge and I did do it which is great so uh, yeah hopefully you enjoyed this one if you did give it a like i'm gonna talk in my next video about what i have going on in my life right now because don't expect a video until thursday next thursday because i have some shit going on and um i'll tell y'all later because you know i'm just i'm mr still your girl and uh, you you you're gonna know why because yeah i'm sexy and whatnot but yeah uh, anyways uh if you enjoy this game a like would be appreciated so more people can see it because man i've been losing uh, them views lately i haven't been growing my channel whatsoever i didn't get any subs throughout this month i lost like seven throughout this month and i didn't gain any basically which was like wow and the views are going down and down my latest video has slightly above 200 views and if you compare um in the in the like in the summer period i i was getting over 1.5k views which is like huge degradation i'm i'm really upset with that but uh so if you can support me um you know i consider myself being quite an interesting narrator so uh yeah without without any sh pal how, how do we call it without any timidness I'm gonna say that but yeah so give it a like to help me out and I've been rambling on for a little while now um, I'm a festo